YouTube, what's up? This is your boy DJ Troy in the building. So we're gonna talk about strictly entertainment for the next five minutes, and there, there, here are the top stories. Okay, of course, last night was the AMAs, and you know there was a lot of exceptional moments there. Uh, my top five moments are these: Selena Gomez acceptance speech. Um, Selena Gomez spoke about you know just you know, accepting yourself, okay? One of the things that she said that was so critical is that she's not interested in seeing what's up with people's bodies. She's interested in what's going on in their hearts. So salute to Selim, Selena Gomez for, you know, coming to this point of, you know, understanding that it's not necessarily about the physical, but it's all about what's going on inside your heart, you know? Emotional intelligence. How well are you navigating this world? Secondly, salute, okay, to Prince Sister. Prince won the award for, okay, soundtrack of the year for Purple Rain. That's to tell you that after Prince passed, damn it, man, that soundtrack continued to sell, okay? And I got it, and it's a wonderful soundtrack, and it's just, it's called Timeless Music, okay? So salute to Prince Okay, R.I.P., salute to assistant, salute to everybody that's carrying on that legacy. Okay, my third moment, of course, was DJ Khaled bringing out Future, Nicki Minaj, Rick Ross, and August Alcina. Okay, Khaled represented for hip-hop for the fullest. Okay, it was an epic performance, so salute to that boy, Prince. Okay, now... Salute to Ariana Grande, okay? Ariana Grande won Artist of the Year, okay? So that's a big honor to her, okay? Now, of course, my man, fourth or fifth is, you know, Mr. John Legend, okay? John Legend came out and did a song about love, and it just reminded us that after such a sick, sickening election, okay, with so much infighting that we really and truly need love, okay? Salute to that girl, Lady Gaga, for a wonderful performance. And there was a lot of other things going on, but that was just, you know, my top moments, okay? Then during the, during the awards, there was, you know, they were airing the commercial of Drake singing Taylor Swift, Bad Blood Song, okay? I don't, you know... I guess it's um it's a confession of the soul. I guess I don't know what Happel was thinking, but it's a good it's a good um it's a good commercial, you know. Um when you think about it to all my viewers that's watching me, what is it is what is it that's your guilty pleasure song? Okay, we all have a guilty pleasure song that, you know, when you go in these streets you can't be saying like, Oh, you listen to that song, but what is your guilty pleasure song? You know, put it down in the comment at the bottom of my video to tell me what is your guilty pleasure song. Because as you guys know, Drake came out with this commercial that basically, um, you know, he's singing Taylor Swift's Bad Blood song. So what is your guilty pleasure song? You know, let, let your boy DJ Troy know what's up. Okay? Now, moving on, okay, moving on to, you know, which is just... Uh, crazy topic okay and and it's the topic of you know with the houston's daughter um as you guys know recently our boyfriend was found liable for our debt and he's got to pay some 35 million dollars or whatever but you know that brother ain't got that type of money and i guess it's just you know the family's way to just pin something on him you know as a liability for the debt um one of the craziest theories that I've heard, okay, this is just like far-fetched, is that this brother, okay, was involved in probably both Whitney Houston death and Bobby Christina's death because they died the same way, okay? I don't know how true that is. Um, the way how this world works is that, you know, you don't know what the hell to believe these days, but who knows, okay? Who knows what's going on? Finally, salute to that girl, Young M.A. Um, 
she's doing her thing. She was on Wendy Williams, you know, performing live, you know, doing her thing. Um, she admitted that she's dating this girl. I think it's, her name is Charlotte Bricks or Coco Bricks, one of them Bricks, okay? You could find out online. Um, so salute to Young Ame. Um, but the thing that, you know, got me talking about her is that she was performing sometime over the weekend and she has this video where she's telling the fans to take out their phones. And if they didn't have their phones, she was kicking people out. You know what I'm saying? You know, I guess, you know, it's all part of entertainment, man. It's it's all about what makes you, whatever makes the news. But, you know, salute to Young M.A. for being in these streets, making our money the right way. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of, you know, where you stand concerning a lot of issues, at the end of the day, this is a young woman that's out here, that's doing her thing, that's doing legit work, okay? For all the people like me who live in Brooklyn, knows that the streets ain't kind. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers, you know, get caught up in a lot of things that they can't get out of. You know what I'm saying? But Young M.A. is in these streets making her money, you know, selling some tracks, doing a lot of shows, and doing whatever she got to do. So salute to Young M.A. And listen, man, take care of yourself. This is your boy, DJ Troy. I'm out. Peace.